Welcome to this short video on perception and decision making. As we consider the four functions of management, in the leading function, this is where we see all the decision making, problem solving, and ethics being put to the challenge, and we really see them come to the forefront. We may be leading groups or teams, but we must consider each group or team member as individuals. You'll recall we identified three independent variables in organizational behavior. These variables are the organization, the group, and the individuals. And these are all considered factors that will shape an employee's behaviors and attitudes. At the individual level, we actually have four different variables to take into consideration. For the purposes of this presentation today, or this short video, we'll be looking at perception and decision making. Let's start by uh, looking at perception. When you think about perception, you'll often think about images such as this. What did you see first? Some people see the vase, other people see the faces. Some of, you, some of you are thinking, oh, I've seen this before. And based on that experience, you know to look for two different things. As we proceed and you look at now these other images, because of that experience, you know and challenge yourself to, to look for two different things. So this is where you might see uh, duck or the rabbit head. Um, the saxophone, the saxophone player, or the female's face, or at the end of the day, you may just very well see the glass as half empty or half full. When we think about it, uh, what we just saw and perceived, it would make sense that we def define perception as the process through which we select, organize, and interpret information from the surrounding environment. How individuals behave is not based on the way that their external environment actually is, but rather how they see it or how they believe it to be. And based on this, you can see how our per perception very much influences our reactions to things. Research shows that what individuals perceive from their work situation will influence their productivity more than the situation itself. Not only might productivity be influenced, but absenteeism and turnover, uh, overall job satisfaction are also common reactions to individuals' perceptions. So as you can see, as future leaders and managers, we need to do our best to be as clear and consistent as possible so as to help manage our employees' perceptions and in turn have a positive influence on those behaviors. So let's go back to these individual level variables. We need to revisit decision making. In first year we distinguished between decision making and problem solving. We differentiated the two by saying that decision making is the process of selecting a course of action that will solve a problem and problem solving in turn is the process of taking corrective action to meet objectives. Note that with decision making, the emphasis is very much on selecting the course of action, where problem solving, the emphasis is on taking that corrective action. While we set processes in place, decision making is not always perfect. There's a number of factors that influence decision making. Um, these include but aren't limited to perception issues, organizational issues, and environmental issues. At the perception level we need to think about the individual and what they bring to the picture, how based on um, you know their individual characteristics, their background, their experience, their values and expectations, their interests, how that could influence them, um, the object itself that's being perceived, and then the situation. At the organizational level, you are very much considering policies and procedures, organizational hierarchy, and potentially organizational politics. When we think about organizational politics, in this context, organizational politics is referring to behavior displayed by individuals and groups, which is designed to influence others. 
there's a number of environmental issues presented here, such as the market in which an organization is operating, the economy, government legislation, and the cu any customer's reaction to the organization's products or services. So as you can see here, um, when you consider decisions that have been made, you need to also consider uh, where issues in decision making have occurred at the perception organizational environmental levels. When decisions are made, as I mentioned, they're not always perfect. There's a number of common decision-making errors that present themselves. Only hearing or seeing what we want is obvi an obvious uh, potential error. Placing too much emphasis on the information we get from others could be error. Or, on the flip side of that, placing too little emphasis on uh, the information that we get to the others. And at the end of the day, ignoring your intuition, that gut reaction, um, can be a big error. So. What's the toughest decision you've had to make? Often when you think about it, it could be a life decision. It could be a decision where we're challenged to really look internally and think about our values and our ethics. Stay tuned for more on ethical decision making.